Let's take a look at how SOLIDWORKS Composer allows us to create assembly instructions directly from our 3D engineering data. Once the model is open inside of SOLIDWORKS Composer, we just need to set a few graphical settings for how we want our images to look in our documentation. These include things such as color, outline, and how silhouette edges appear. Once this has been set, we save this as an image. This image will be used in our documentation later on. For step-by-step -step instructions, we're going to create them backwards, so we'll start with step 6. Using this engine stand, we want to show how the engine cradle and mount get assembled to the stand. In this case, we attach the rotational bar as well as the rotational locking pin. So we simply move those out to their pre-assembled positions and then add some graphical elements. In this case, arrows to describe how these components go together. The arrows themselves have a lot of unique properties, and we can control many of these on screen with the easy-to-use drag manipulators. For instance, we might want to move or change the position, adjust the size, control whether or not these are transparent or solid, and other things such as the length and whether or not they show through other components. These can be controlled on screen and with the properties in the lower left-hand corner of the UI. Once we have the view set exactly how we want it, we want to make sure we save it to update our changes. Let's look at another example, again with our engine stand assembly. We want to create a single view to show a repeat process, in this case adding the casters to our engine stand. We can use some quick tools to select hidden components and get them out of the image. Like before, we simply position the components in their pre-assembled positions and we'll add some graphical elements to show this. This time, instead of arrows, we'll use some trail lines. SOLIDWORKS Composer makes this easy using an associate path. We just select the component and then change a few properties to control how it looks. Again, things like if it shows through other components, the orientation of the path, and the color. We can then further adjust and manipulate them to make sure they look just right. We can also add a graphical label Clearly notating this process is done both times. Once this is finished, we want to save these images out in a format suitable for our final document. In this case, we're going to use SVG files. This information can then be brought into tools, such as Microsoft Word, to create the final documentation with all the required text needed to describe the steps. And finally, this can then be published in a consumable format, such as PDF, for distribution with each engine stand produced. As you can see, SOLIDWORKS Composer makes assembly instructions extremely simple and fast. SOLIDWORKS applications provide great capabilities you can use right away for design, simulation, communication, and file management to work faster and make your products better. Explore all the features in the demo library or contact your nearest SOLIDWORKS reseller.